Hello, and welcome to Bulldog TV News, an affiliate of the USA News Network. I'm Cameron Haley Matthews. And I'm Carl Hughes. And here's, here's what, what we, we have, have for you, for you today. today. President-elect Donald Trump is tapping conservatives with deep ties to Washington and Wall Street to fill out key cabinet roles as he continues to deliberate over his Secretary of State. Trump is moving forward with nominations Wednesday, including former Goldman Sachs executive Steven Mnuchin, Mnuchin as Secretary of the Treasury and billionaire investor Wilbur Ross, who, has considered the, who is considered the king of bankruptcy. As Commerce Secretary, both nominees are considered risk takers in the business world. On Tuesday, Trump chose Georgia Representative Tom Price to oversee the nation's health care system, picking a fierce Obamacare critic who has championed efforts to privatize Medicare. And he selected another veteran Republican, Elaine Chao, a former labor secretary and the wife of Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, to lead the Department of Transportation. Republicans and Democrats put finishing touches on Tuesday on a $6.3 billion medical research bill as GOP leaders prepare to push, push in the measure through Congress by next week. The White House and as said is back, the measure all the ensuring its approval. While Democrats and consumer groups were unhappy with the parts of le the legislation, it contained enough accomplishments of both sides. Government drug approvals would be accelerated. There would be more money to biomedical, biomedical research research including cancer and there will be added funds for battling the growing abuse of addictive drugs like opioids. The energy industry has its eyes on OPEC Wednesday as member nations plus Russia meet in Dunan to try and reach a deal on production costs. Cuts. If members can put aside the political differences they may be able to stabilize oil prices for the first time since the same members <laughs> sent the commodity into a free fall two years ago. Hopes of a deal have injected some life into oil prices recently, but any meaningful agreement will require Saudi Arabia and Iran to come to together despite their ongoing rivalry. Air conditioning company Carrier Corp said to Tuesday that it had researched a deal with President-elect Donald Trump to keep nearly 1,000 jobs in Indian, Indiana. Through the details of the agreement were unclear, Trump and Vice President-elect Mike Pence planned to travel the state Thursday to unveil the agreement alongside company officials, Trump spent much of his campaign pledging to the companies like Car Carrier from moving jobs overseas. It was Trump's focus on manufacturing jobs that contributed to unexpected appeal with working class voters. The Great Smoky Mountains might get some relief Wednesday as rain is expected to suppress dangerous wildfires that killed three in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. An inch of beneficial rain was expected overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning, adding to the three-fourths of an inch of the rain that fell in the resort town a day earlier and reduced the fires there, according to the National Weather Service. The historic blazes destroyed hundreds of homes and businesses in Gatlinburg alone, prompting 14,000 people to evacuate from the town and 2,000 to seek refuge in emergency shelters. Colombia's worst air crash in two decades snuffed out a storybook run by a Brazilian soccer team and authorities are digging and trying to figure out why a chartered jetliner crashed in the Andes, killing all but six of the 77 people aboard. The country's aviation agency said Tuesday that the British Aerospace 146 cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder had been found among the wreckage strewn over a mountainside and were already being studied by experts. Initially, Colombian officials said that short haul Jet suffered an electrical failure, but there was also heavy rain and the crew declared an emergency and the plane disappeared from radar. You can now play Pac-Man with your Facebook Messenger buddies. Facebook added the option to play games with your contacts on the Messenger app. Yesterday, you can access the feature in the latest version of the app by tapping a game controller icon. Games available include classics such as Pac-Man, Space Invaders, and Galaga, as well as newer titles like Words with Friends. It is the latest effort by the world's biggest social network to get people to spend even more time on its property. Currently, there is no way to play with people who are not in your messenger contacts. So if your friends don't like to play games, you're out of luck. The game themselves are simple to play. And like the earlier soccer and basketball games, load inside messenger and don't open in a separate app. Pamela Flory, Hillary Clinton, Katy Perry, and Car Carly Stern among the 12th annual UNICEF Snowflake Ball at Caprina Wall Street on November 29th 
2016 in New York City. Photo VI Jason Knight's big honoree, but Hillary Clinton's surprise appearance got the biggest ovation as the former presidential candidate presented the pop star with an award from UNICEF at Tuesday's Snowflake Ball. Clinton gave per Katy Perry the Aubrey Hepburn Humanitarian Award for her charitable efforts with the organization. She described Perry as someone who has the spirit and the energy and the compassion that Aubrey Hepburn brought to her work from U UNICEF. In her accepted speech, Perry credited Clinton for helping use her voice for more than just her hits. Doug Jones from The Strain and Rent alum Anthony Rabb have been cast in Star Trek Discovery, the upcoming new Star Trek series for CBS All Access, CBS Live Streaming, and VOD service. Jones will portray Lieutenant Saru, a Starfleet science officer and a new alien species to the Star Trek universe. Rapp will play Lieutenant Stamets, a Starfleet science officer in Yao, and is confirmed to her role as a Starfleet captain. The series premiere is May 2017 on the CBS network, with all subsequent episodes available on CBS All Access. The penultimate college football playoff rankings were released yesterday, evening by the CFP committee with a little surprise. Undefeated Alabama still reigns supreme control in the top spot in the poll, with Ohio State retaining its number two spot. After their thrilling win over Big Ten rival Michigan, Clemson moved up to third followed, followed by Washington at number four. As the committee jumped from both teams ahead of the Wolverines loss, just outside the actual playoff brackets. However, Michigan's looms as a dark horse fifth seed, followed by Wisconsin at number six. The final rankings in the playoff bowl games will be released by the CFP committee on Sunday afternoon. The dust of conference co championships has settled. Giannis Antetokounmpo may be a mouthful to pronounce, but the Milwaukee Bucks forward continued to earn his nickname, the Greek Freak, last night, trying a career-high 34 points to boost the Bucks over LeBron and the Cavaliers 118-101. to Giannis also took down 12 rebounds and added 5 assists to the stat sheet that included 18 points from Jabari Parker and 17 from Michael Beasley. The Bucks took full control of the game midway through the third quarter, outscoring the reigning champs by 14 and never looking back. LeBron James led the Cavs with 22 points, who lost only their third game of the season and saw a four-game win streak snapped by the Bucks. The Brooklyn Nets stunned the LA Clippers with a big fourth-quarter comeback, winning in double overtime, 127-122. to Sean Kiptrick scored 31 of the career-high high point 38 points in the fourth quarter and beyond to power the rally and eventually victory. Tobias Harris stood strong with 24 points to the lead Pistons over the Hornets, 112 to 89. Anthony Davis dominated the court with 41 points as the Pelicans beat Lakers, 105 to 88. The Magic took advantage, advantage turnovers to break the Spurs nine-game win streak with the 95 to 83 victory. And Gordon Hayward's 31 points jumped and jived the Jazz to. 120 to 101 over the Rockets. Victor Stolberg's two goals aren't enough as the Canes lost to the Ra Rangers 3 to 2. The Blue ja Jackets blow out the Lightning 5 to 1. The Bruins edge out the Flyers in a 3 to 2 shootout win. Ryan O'Reilly scores two, and Jack Etchell scores a goal in his season debut to send the Sabres over the Senators 5 to 4. The Red Wings shine over the Stars 3 to 1. Patrick Lane and Mark Scheifer. Each score the 13th goal of the season to lift the Jets over the Devils 3-2. And the Tolis Blackhawks eck out the 2-1 shootout with the uh, win over the Panthers. The Predators avoid the Avalanche 5-3. The Leafs double up on the Oilers 4-2. Ryan Miller stands on his head with 38, 38 saves from the Canucks 5-4 victory over the Wild. The Ducks wade past Les Hobbs 2-1. And the Sharks nip the Coyotes 2-1 on the Brett Burr's overtime goal. That's all we have for you today. I'm Cameron Haley Matthews. And I'm Carl Hughes. Join us again for the Daily News, Bulldog TV News and affiliated the USA News Network. We'll see you next time.